Here we go at 125. Welcome to Central Valley Talk Live. Austin Reed hanging out with you on this Wednesday. It is the 26th of January. Thank you for joining us. Hey, our final guest here in the 1 o'clock hour today is Sammy Franco. Welcome back, brother. How you Good doing? To be back. Oh, man. Uh, much better. Much better. You got COVID. Yeah, I had COVID. I was down for about 10 days, but uh, fully recovered and back to work, and it's been busy. <laughs> yeah, I know. We've been talking uh, on Facebook Messenger. Things are just crazy right now yeah um Why? And, and they're gonna get crazier uh, it's just uh f there's a lot of fear of the unknown like we get contacted daily by people who are either approaching retirement age they're worried about the principal in their accounts and they hadn't been in the past so, every, so now we're showing them things they haven't ever seen before and just alternative ways to protect their principal um, but it's just they know that something's coming you know the fed's gonna raise interest rates in march that's going to cause a reaction, you know, but they just don't know how bad it's going to be. So um, the younger generation isn't real worried about it is mm -hmm. what I'm seeing because, you know, time in the market is better than timing it. Um, so if you take a loss in your 20s, you're going to make it up, you know, just stay in there and keep keep investing. Uh, but if you're at retirement age, the odds that you're going to make that loss up are slim to none. So um, I wanted to ask you today about NFTs. <laughs> What the heck is that? You know, uh, I mean, they're a big movement right now. Yeah. So what an, an NFT is, it's, it stands for non-fungible token. Okay. You know, some of them ha will have a utility. Some of them won't. So it's still a super new asset class. But basically, it's, you know, people create artwork. Um, and they it's, it, I guess, the best way to, to describe it is it's kind of like a hype train. So the value of that NFT is going to be based off of how much, uh, I guess, um, how much marketing you do, how much of a push you get, how much momentum it gains. So you see people like Gary V who comes out with an NFT and it just goes off the charts. You know, the, the, the rap artists who come out with NFTs, they go off the charts and they're, they're selling them, right. you know, linked to their albums and they're making millions where if I was to come out with an NFT, it would be like this, you know, <laughs> so it, it really is uh, something very new, but uh, it's interesting, you know, cause like my, my son's an artist and so I was talking to him about looking into it, but it's it's kind of seen uh, two different ways in the the finance industry. Is it, one, it's it's a great way to make money, and two mm -hmm. is some people view it as kind of like a like a scam or a scheme, yeah. where you can build this thing up, and then the rug gets pulled, kind of like a rug pull in the in the stock market. But um, I mean, I, I'm not an expert on them, but that's that's kind of the gist of what they are. Uh, but it, they're they're interesting to say the least. Yeah, people are making a lot of money with them. Um, the stock market obviously is just crazy right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, everything is has been down mostly. Like S and P fell uh, ten percent, and I think it made a small comeback the other day. But uh, we're looking farther to where the Fed announces what's going to happen, like in March, mm -hmm. uh, when they they're going to start hiking interest rates. Uh, they're going to stop purchasing corporate bonds as much. Uh, that's what kind of fueled the economy. Um, during the pandemic is they switched from buying treasury bonds and, and, and switched to buying corporate bonds that kind of bailed out, you know, some of the corporate big corporate structure. And then, then they printed a ton of money that all flooded back into the economy, which is the way they wanted it to happen. Now they're at a point where inflation's up at around 7%, you know, the, the prices are just driving higher and higher. Uh, they got, they have to do something to reverse that. So uh, I would anticipate in March, you know, they're going to start spiking, you know, raising interest rates. So borrowing for cars and mortgages and things mm -hmm. will over time will get, again get more costly. Um, and they're going to stop purchasing as many uh, bonds, corporate bonds, uh, which will help the Treasury bond. Um, but as far as for, you know, the stock market, you know, it could it could the last time something like this happened where they reduced their inventory of bonds and cut back and, and raise interest rates, um, uh, S&P fell 20 percent over in, in, I think, in a, in over the course of three months. So um, I know some people in the industry are fearing that it could cause a recession, mm -hmm. depending on the timing of how they do it. But you know, I mean, who knows? It's everything is speculation in the market. So, so as of right now, uh, as we are in a brand new year, I mean, is it an okay time to invest with you guys? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I always encourage people to invest in and, and it just really depends on your age, your financial situation, your risk tolerance, um, and what your what your goal is. So, um, you know, I, I'm becoming more and more, you know, versed in in cryptocurrency. 
because that's something where it, it's going to be integrated even more. It's still a very, even, you know, Bitcoin's been around for like 10 years, but it's still a new asset class and they're still evolving. Uh, they're working it into where it's going to be in mainstream. It's good. It's going to be in, there's going to probably be uh, most of our transactions in the future will be done using, you know, on, on the blockchain or in crypto or something like that. So um, I, I encourage people to always, you know, get in there and, if you're young, you know, get in there and invest in what you believe in and take some of those risks because you're going to have time to make up losses. If you're older, you kind of got to take a more conservative approach, you know. So uh, there are investment vehicles that aren't so popular with the young crowd that uh, some of the older crowds really love, you know. So there's there's ways for if you're at retirement <clears throat> to move money into certain investment vehicles to protect your principal take some of that upside growth of the market. There are some caps and floors and mm -hmm. things like that, but it allows them to take growth enough to distribute without worrying about losing any money. So, because if you're, if you're distributing from an out at risk account in retirement, uh, any loss can set you back you know, and can, you might even have to skip a distribution in, in one year if your if your loss is big enough. So now obviously we are heading into tax season. Any advice? Um, get them done as quick as possible. And <laughs> okay. it's going to be weird because uh, towards the end of this year, like uh, I know at our household, um, the checks for the, the child credits just started showing up. Right. Yeah. And so I told my wife, like, I, I, I really have to pay attention this year because we started getting them mm -hmm. and we said, you know, put that aside because you know, they're, they're, they're giving you that tax credit early. Um, but it, I'm sure there's going to be some fine print, you know, just like, you know, they're starting to say some of the fine print for a lot of the stimulus checks or some of the, you know, it's just, it's going to be a year where you're going to want to pay attention to, to everything on your return um, mm -hmm. and, and make sure that you're double and triple checking. That's what I would say. Uh, we've got about a minute left. Anything I missed? Anything else you wanted to talk about today? Um, no, well, we're, we're starting this year. We're going to start ramping up again on, on free classes. Okay. Um, we're going to get into some where we're doing them uh, on Zoom. Um, we have an office here in Fresno, so we're going to start hosting, um, I guess they're called, we could call them master classes on certain um, business strategies and things like that. So, okay. we, we, you know, we're, we're really... We've been doing uh, work with some real estate investment groups uh, across the United States um, where we use uh, a, a really old method that's been around for decades of, uh, of investing in real estate through uh, either whole life or index universal life insurance. And they do that for principal protection. So real estate investors have been doing that for decades. Um, that's something where a lot of people can't really grasp or wrap their head around the idea. Um, but when you do that, um, you protect your principal and you actually grow money in two places at one time. So that's why real estate people like that. They like it for the, the guarantees in the whole life or the uh, opportunity for upside in an index policy. Um, so there's but it's just it's like Greek to people because it's not taught. You know, that's something that's like a well-kept secret. So we'll be doing master classes on, on those in our office here in Fresno. Um, infinite banking concepts, either, you know, velocity banking with HELOCs, you know, using the equity in your home to bank with, and then using equity in an insurance policy to bank with. So um, a lot of stuff coming up this year. Busy, busy, busy. Uh, yeah. Stay busy. It's good. Busy is a blessing. Busy is a blessing, say. right? Yeah, you're never bored. Yeah. So. yeah. <laughs> uh, Sammy, happy new year. Thanks for coming in. I'll Thank see you. you next time. All right. Thank All you. right. Uh, check out Sammy uh, at Be Financially Informed. Dot com. That's going to do it for Central Valley Talk here in the 1 o'clock hour. I'm Austin Reed. We'll be back, uh, let's see, I think around 4 with uh, another live interview. Coming up at 2 o'clock, though, live, uh, Herb Keener's Keys to Living show. That'll be from 2 to 3 p.m. And uh, if we don't see you later today, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow because we'll be back with uh, more guests tomorrow as well. Bye-bye.